Hi, this is Jimmy Baker with Courier Sports Department. I'm here with Andy Wolf, Scott Kados. We're here for week nine of the Review Times Chalk Talk. Only one more after this, and then uh, we're gonna, it looks like we're going to be done. Nobody's going to be making the playoffs. But uh, let's talk a little bit about the Redmen. Uh, Redmen taking on at Siegel this week. Another game that could go either, either yeah. way, and a game they need to get to 500. Yeah, I think 500 is definitely something to play for. It's the difference of not having a losing season, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, Otsego also has something to play for too. I mean, very out, very outside shot of the playoffs. They're sitting 17th. They need a lot of stuff to happen. But last year, I, I know Otsego was one of those teams that was looking for its first win and had something to play for. And they just lost a tough game to Rossburg. They're gonna want to come back hungry. But I look at it very evenly because Otsego hasn't beaten anybody that Fostoria hasn't beaten. They've kind of tail of the tape has kind of fallen the same way as far as wins and mm -hmm. losses. Um, Fostoria last week looks like they got their ground game going. Jaden Miller across the 100 yards. It's just a tough matchup against Genoa, but mm -hmm. I maybe you give the edge to the home team, but it's tough. It's coin flip 50-50 to me. Do you think uh, Coach Kidwell would be happy if they got to 500? Would that be, um, I don't know, getting the program back in a step in the right direction? He's uh, he's pretty much said no. No? He's they not, want more. He wants more, huh? He's not there to win. He's not there to tie, and he's not there okay. to lose. He, he's made that pretty clear. And anybody who doesn't want to go in that direction can leave the grounds. So <laughs> he's, uh, he wants to win. He said, you know, 7-3, 6-4 would be, you know, positive. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not there to play 500 football. Okay, very good. Uh, St. Wendland has a home game Friday night against Rosecrans. Uh, still sticking with that eight-man game. Uh, Tell me what you saw at uh, Toledo Christian on uh, Saturday. It doesn't matter if you play with eight men, three men, or eleven men. If you get beat up front, you're gonna get you're gonna lose. Uh -huh. And that's what happened. They um, they didn't have the run game completely nullified except for a couple of plays. But you know there was not a lot of room to run. Um, the quarterback was under a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. and they just had to. Uh, um, try to make plays in more of a hurry than you re they really wanted. They were just under constant pressure in the backfield. Mm -hmm. You're not going to win that way. Yeah, and I'm sure that was a game they probably thought they had a chance at, you know, at least being competitive in, and they really didn't. All right, uh, the rest of the schedule shapes up with Arlington at Van Lu, Hope Lounge at Liberty Benton in BVC play, North Baltimore's at Arcadia, Van Buren at Riverdale, and Elmwood at Eastwood, and St. Joseph and Lakota in a Sandusky Bay Conference River Division game. That'll wrap up week nine of the Review Times Chalk Talk. You can get all the print and picture coverage of all the games Friday night in Saturday's Review Times.